We are the north side, old skull and bone gang. We come to remind you before you die. You better get your, your life together. Next time you see us, it's too late to cry. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Uh, you better straighten up before you come see us. Uh, you better get your, your life together. Next time you see us, it's too late to cry. You know, when people hear that, they know they know who's coming. They know what's up. Because <laughs> our motto is, you next. No matter who you are, can't buy your way out of that one. My name is Bruce Sunpie Barnes. I'm the big chief of the North Side Skull and Bone Gang. The Northside Skull and Bone Gang has origins that date back to 1819. We are a group of downtown masking skeletons that started in what became the Treme neighborhood. It's uh, basically the first neighborhood outside of the French Quarter that's uh, just across Rampart Street and was uh, created from tracks of land that Claude Treme, plantation owner, started to uh, sell and parcel out as orphans which is basically the, the structure and size of a, a shotgun house, 33 and a half feet wide and 193 feet long. Started selling land to free people of color. So, so that's where we uh, mask at, and that's where the tradition started by uh, a merchant marine or sailor that came from the coast of Africa to New Orleans. You know, with us, what we do is we remind people about how they're living, about denouncing violence against women, children, violence of any kind, gunplay, you name it, drugs, all those things that will expedite your ultimate demise. While we're having fun and pageantry, the first thing that we do is make the invitation for the ancestral spirits to come with us, we entertain them. When we hit the street, we bring those messages to people. Spirits talk through you, they'll, they'll bring messages to people that need it, you know. So we steadfastly hold up that tradition and stay with it. People have all sorts of uh, misconceptions about the tradition that we have. They don't they don't really know what it is. Quite a bit of it is uh, a little more like secret society for sure because we don't show and <laughs> tell everything that we do. Folks can think it's anything from straight voodoo tradition. It has those elements for sure, but that's not all there is to it. Some people just think it's buffoonery and, and pageantry and they want to kind of emulate it or mock it or do all sorts of things. But we have very direct purpose and strong purpose in, in what we do and how we present ourselves. It's in a, a very particular way. It's an old folk tradition, how we make it happen. Everything from the, the way the suit look to, you know, what we sing about, how we present ourselves, we do all sorts of things. Everyone can mask and do anything they want on Mardi Gras day, but some things you don't want to take lightly and, and try and make a joke out of them because we're honoring our ancestral spirits. These are the people that built the city, that were enslaved, and the only day they had off to go out and be themselves was Mardi Gras day. That day is important and it's not something to, to be made light of or mimic in a certain way. The amen, Blue Jay, preach on. She's saying, that's right, that's right. Uh, but yeah, it's that struggle. It's the blood, sweat, and tears that people have, have put forward to sustain it. And I know that surely as I'm uh, trying to uphold this tradition that it's not really about me. I'm walking on the shoulders of giants, the people who really suffered to make it happen.